the more fosters that we have in our organization, the more dogs that we are able to save. This little puppy in my lap, Victoria, was rescued from an apartment that somebody moved out and left her behind. And if I hadn't had an opening in my home, this little girl, I don't know what would have happened to her. She probably would have ended up in a shelter environment with tons of other dogs and may not have made it out. I mean, even if it's a temporary situation or a long-term foster, um, fosters save lives. Every time a foster steps up and takes a female puppy that's born on the streets, they're potentially stopping 32,000 births from happening. So fosters are a very, very important part of the controlling the um, overpopulation of animals. If we don't have a foster, we have to let them stay there. We can't bring them in. But if we have a foster, we, we're stopping the breeding. We're stopping it at the source. It's important for these groups and all groups like this to be out there to get the dogs off the streets, be it any animal off the streets. Most of these come in and they're abused. They've been neglected like she has been. Um, she has been on the streets for eight years and has been pregnant since the first time she went into heat. So she's had one litter after another one. I promised her that that's never gonna happen again. One of the main reasons I knew I wanted to get involved with DSDA is because they really genuinely care about these pets. They don't want to just give you a dog and say, you know, good luck, I hope he fits in. Um, if it doesn't work out with your, w within your home, then they'll try and, and match him to another home. So there's a community that will support you and help you and is ready and willing to answer any and all questions that you might have. It's really important that the dog be in a foster home, basically so we can learn about the behavior of the dog. Yes, it's about what their needs are, but it's really about learning who they are. So as a foster, you can then say, Oliver's a fantastic dog, he's great on a leash, he knows how to sit, he knows down, he knows other commands, he's good with kids, loves cats, or whatever the case may be, that's what is incredibly important for the foster to be able to let a, a potential adopter know. All they want, these animals want, are, are to be loved. And if you can provide love and compassion and a sense of home, then I think that is what is most needed. Who knows where they've come from, whether it's been Dallas Animal Services or whether they've been living out in the streets for you know, a year, months, what have you. They really just need love and, and some attention and some belly rubs and playing with toys. I foster because I love the animals. I will never stop bringing home stray dogs <laughs> because I love them and I wanna see them happy and healthy in a forever home. With more fosters, we can advocate for more animals. If we don't have support of people, we can't support those without a voice. And that is what our name is all about. We're advocates. We're not just rescuers. We're there to voice for those without a voice. Fosters are the link between homeless and happy ever after.